I'm going to briefly go over the uh, cistern filtration setup and uh, maintenance um, just as reference here. Um, this is a pressure tank that regulates the water pressure and on the pressure tank is mounted the pressure switch. This is what controls the pump uh, shutting on, uh, cut, cutting on and shutting off. Uh, underneath it we have a sampling valve to draw water samples as well as to drain out the pressure tank if need be. This is the pressure gauge which measures water pressure and indicates water pressure. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see uh, standard operation when the pump is on uh, it should be around 40 to 60 PSI. Uh, so that'll be the standard operating pressure and that will uh, tell you how much water is flowing or uh, at what pressure the water is, uh, is in the system. Uh, right after the pressure gauge we have an isolation valve. This will shut off the water pressure. The uh, valve is on in this position, off in this position perpendicular to the pipe. That will cut the water pressure off, cut the water supply off rather, uh, if you need to isolate um, uh, the water or need to shut off the water. That's your go-to valve. Uh, next we have a 20 micron sediment filter followed by a 5 micron activated carbon filter. Uh, the activated carbon filter is quite a bit larger. That's a whole house filter. And then after the two sediment filters and the carbon filter uh, we have the UV sterilizer. And this is what uh, rather sterilizes the water. All bacteria that flows through the system will be sterilized through this unit. Uh, the sterilizer has its own controller, and this has a, a um, monitor on it that will uh, monitor water clarity that goes through the system. It should read uh, above 60% clarity. Uh, under 60%, it'll trigger an alarm and uh, this sensor is control is tied back to the UV sterilizer through this. This is a clarity sensor um, that will measure the clarity of the water. If it's too cloudy, it'll drop below 60%, at which case it'll trigger, trigger an alarm saying that uh, the sleeve inside this sterilizer needs to be cleaned uh, or the clarity sensor itself needs to be cleaned. Uh, and then after that, we have a sampling tap. This is where the, uh, you draw a water sample after, the, after it's gone through the filtration to make sure that everything's sterilized, bacteria has been removed, um, and uh, just to get a, a better water quality sample. And then uh, again, we have another isolation valve, and that will isolate uh, right up there. You can see it's off currently. That will isolate the filters so we can work on them when we need to change them. Uh, to change out the filters, it's very easy. Uh, we have a, a filter wrench right here. Uh, we'll use this to remove the filter housing. It just turns to the left here, um, and that will loosen the, the filter. And then we can hand loosen it at that point, pull out the old cartridge, and uh, put in a new one. Um, and then, of course, tighten, tighten the housing right there. Before you uh, remove the filter to change it, you want to make sure that both this valve down here and the valve up above the sterilizer are both in the off position, perpendicular to the pipe. That will, again, isolate the water pressure. And you'll want to also have a bucket underneath this cartridge uh, because there will be some water pressure that will bleed off and drop into the bucket. Um, so you can, you can either bleed off the water pressure here, put a bucket under here, bleed off that water pressure, uh, or you can even uh, turn on a faucet upstairs um, before closing this valve. That will bleed off that water pressure when no water comes out of the faucet. Uh, then come back down here, shut that valve, and then you, you're free to change out the cartridge on the cartridge filter. Uh, both of them work exactly the same. Both use the same filter wrench. Uh, on the UV unit, there is a uh, fairly regular maintenance every couple months or when this clarity sensor reads below 60%. That indicates that you want to clean the sleeve of the filter, of the, of the UV sterilizer. And to do that, again, you want to make sure there's no water pressure either close off the valves and bleed it off here, or again, open the faucet upstairs, then close this valve off, and then uh, 
uh, continue to work on it, make sure that valve down there is closed. Uh, but to clean it, uh, it's very simple. You'll just unplug the unit, the UV sterilizer, uh, and then drop this little uh, adapter. And you want to be careful because uh, in this case, the lamp is facing down. It makes it a little easier to work on, but uh, it, the lamp will come out very quick. So you'll just pinch this together and drop that, that lamp and you can see the lamp coming out with this, uh, this adapter. And to clean the sleeve, once you have this loose, you pull this, pull this uh, UV lamp all the way out and unthread this portion right here. Uh, it's, it's corrugated. Unthread that and the quartz sleeve will drop. And all you do there to clean it is to uh, simply take a dry cloth and wipe down the outside of that sleeve. Uh, then you'll replace that, tighten this fitting, and push the lamp back in to the uh, to the unit. Then you'll have this this uh, this is a clarity sensor, as I mentioned before. Um, you'll want to clean this at the same time you clean your quartz sleeve that's inside here. It's a long glass sleeve. Uh, to clean this, you'll unplug it from the from the unit. There's a little adapter here that plugs in. You'll unplug it and then and then simply unthread it. It's hand tightened. You just untwist it, remove it, and at the very end of it, there's a little glass piece. And with that same dry cloth, you just wipe that down. Uh, hand tighten this back up. Don't use a wrench on this. Just hand tighten it. Plug the the uh, sensor back in to the control unit. And, uh, and then plug your sterilizer back into the outlet and you're ready to go. And this should, it, it, when you plug this unit back in, it will cycle through a startup uh, and this should read 100% or close to it uh, once you start it back up, once you have the sleeve clean. Thank you very much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.